The new F124 game has just been released and some of you have probably bought it, but if you haven't, don't buy it now. But why? The introduction of the dynamic handling system has been the most controversial aspect of F124 and its implementation has been divisive among the community. For wheel users like myself with a Logitech G29, the handling feels bad. I use no assist and you have a lot of grip and you don't feel a lot the curbs, which is not as real life. Moreover, the handling is not just a problem for wheel users. Even controller players have expressed frustration with the new handling model, which feels more like an arcade game than a sim racing experience. The cars seem to have a mind of their own, with sudden and unpredictable changes in direction, making it challenging to find a consistent rhythm and maintain a smooth pace. The problem is further exacerbated by the fact that the handling is not just a matter of adjusting the car setup or calibration. The fundamental physics of the game seem to be flawed, making it difficult for players to adapt to the new handling model. Codemasters has acknowledged the community's feedback and promised a patch to address the handling issues. The patch is expected to introduce a more gradual learning curve and improve the overall responsiveness of the handling system. This update should help alleviate some of the frustration and make the game more enjoyable for a wider range of players. In summary, the handling in F124 is terrible due to the excessive grip and lack of feedback, making it difficult for players to control the cars and maintain a smooth pace. The problem is not limited to wheel users and is a significant issue for the game's overall quality and enjoyment. One of the most notable improvements in F124 is the overhaul of the career mode. Players can now choose to step into the shoes of an established F1 driver or create their own racer, including the option to start in Formula 2. The new contract negotiation system adds depth to the experience with players needing to meet specific performance targets to secure contract extensions. The driver rating system has been expanded, with on-track actions directly impacting attributes like pace, racecraft and awareness. This adds a layer of strategy to your career, as you'll need to balance your desire for results with the need to improve your overall rating. Secret team meetings and on-track objectives provide additional challenges and opportunities for players to boost their driver ratings. While some may find the progression a bit too easy, the revamped career mode is a significant step up from previous entries and offers a more engaging single-player experience. F124 boasts a significant visual overhaul with upgraded lighting, shadows, dynamic weather, and improved player models. The on-track graphics are among the best in any racing series, creating an immersive and visually stunning experience. The addition of real-world driver radio chatter with context-specific lines based on performance and results adds to the authenticity of the presentation. Tracks like Silverstone, Spa, Jeddah and Lucille have been completely redesigned but also the most of other tracks have received updates such as Spain and Las Vegas. F1 World returns with overarching progression, vehicle and team customization, and seasonal events. The new Fan Zone mode introduces a cooperative time-based element where players work together to accomplish goals and complete challenges. Challenge Career Mode offers a condensed career experience with rotating bite-sized seasons, while the inclusion of engine braking as a tunable car setup option provides more granular control for players. F124 is a divisive but promising entry in the series. The revamped Career Mode is a significant improvement offering a more engaging and immersive single-player experience. However, the dynamic handling system is not realistic and so I suggest you to stay on F123. Codemasters has acknowledged the community's feedback and has promised a patch to address the handling issues. The patch is expected to introduce a more gradual learning curve and improve the overall responsiveness of the handling system. This update should help alleviate some of the frustration and make the game more enjoyable for a wider range of players. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And, as always, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.